Hello folks, it's me, Mars, once again. I'm bringing you a short video today on just a theory I wanted to test out about this shrine. It's the Gila Ryo Shrine. As you can see here on the map, it's a bit east, a little south of main Hyrule Field. It's right around here in between, uh, let's see, the Kayawan Shrine, the Wagato, uh, Wago Kata Shrine, and uh, Kakariko Village. So it's just like on this little island out here in, like, in the middle of Hylia River. So it's a little hard to get to unless you, you know, unless you, you know, know how to swim. So let me give you the rundown of what we're trying to do here. You already saw the thumbnail. I think this NPC can kill people. I mean, just look at her. You can see the evil in her eye. Anyway, her deal is that if you go to the shrine and you touch one of her flowers, she will tell you not to. If you do it three times, she will lose herself and rush at you and attack you. And you'll lose a little bit of health. Now, of course, if you're smart, you can just fly over it, but to all the people who haven't gotten the, uh, the Rito Divine Beast challenge done yet, you can, uh, you're, you're gonna have to walk through the maze of flowers. So let's, let's get back here. This is our girl, Magda, and she goes crazy every time we do anything. Like, watch this. Take this sword, and I walk in. Look at that. She's mad about something. She says, so many times, I've lost count of how many times I've told you, it's just so many now. I mean, honestly, it's up to three, like, oh, come on, are you, are you, are you dumb? Scary piano music, how do you not understand? Why don't you get it? <laughs> then this happens, you know, she's, she's running around. This part, like, actually sort of scares me, though. See what I mean? So, yeah, then she deals damage to you. And, uh... And, yeah, you're on the ground. You, you've been flattened. And, uh... That's basically what happens, right? She hits you all the times that you walk into there. Or damage the flowers in any way. Like, for example, if I took, like... Let's say... Alright, that's great. <sighs> they won't shut up. Let's say I took a bomb arrow or something and threw it into the garden. See? She, uh, she reacts to that. So, I just want to get to low enough health that she kills me once she hits me. And I think it'd just be very interesting to see what happens. So, yeah, let's start uh, running through the garden. Alright, so that's the second time I've been uh, knocked out. I think the third time should do it. Alright, alright. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, okay, so she almost got us. Just one more time, and then we'll see if she actually kills us or not. Alright, there we go. Let's see what it is. Are we dead? Come on, d kill me. Kill me. Ah, oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm still at the same health as beforehand. That should have killed me. That should have killed me. She apparently, quote unquote, hit me, but nothing happened. It, uh, m maybe it just looks like if you're in the red and you are like that and you are, you know almost dead, she won't actually be able to deal any damage to you because you're just that low on health. Ah, oh, that's so interesting, though, how the algorithm worked out that way. You know, if I wonder if this... Well, I'm not actually going to try it, but if, if there was a hardcore, a uh, hardcore-er mode, Magda should be able to kill you. I want her to kill me. Alrighty, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. My name is Ben Mars, and I just... Yeah, thank you for watching this uh, fun little short uh, video just testing out a theory that I had. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below, and while you're down there, go ahead and press subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, my name is Ben Mars, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!